think I've done. Uh, I think I'm on my third tiger now, and um, this one fascinated me because it's it's one one done by um, Jasmina Suzak, and I rather liked it, and. Uh, I had a look around and I found I found the original picture that she did and uh, I'm trying to emulate her um, I hope she doesn't mind <laughs> but um, I'm, I haven't done it as big as hers I've just because I've, I haven't got the size um, the size paper I could have done it a bit bigger I suppose on this but um, and I haven't got it on a coloured background, so I think she had it on a green background, Jasmina uh, Suzak. And uh, I've got to rub the lines back and everything, I've got to do a bit of work. But, um, this is the original, and I'm hoping to get something close to it. Um, but it took me fancy, so I'm, I'm just going to enjoy it. And just carry on and do it and do it. They reckon the more you do the better you get so or the more relaxed you get. If I could get more relaxed I'd be happy. If I could get more uh, I seem to tighten up. I've been trying a few of these drawing things exercises that the girls do. They go to college they teach you things in there like you know, doing circles and squares and uh, figure eights and just to relax yourself. It's like limbering up before you do a run. Even artists have to do that, so apparently, I don't know, I've never done it before. So I had a go at it, and it, it, uh, it gets your juices going a little bit. And I forget the girl that said it, I do I do, um, I do, do feel terrible really. I like to give deference to people that, that uh, have told me, or give me information. But uh, she knows who she is if she's watching this. <laughs> oh, she's not. <laughs> but uh, anyway, I'll stop there, and this is the beginning of the, uh, the lion and the cub. So we'll see what happens with this when I've finished it. And uh, oh, as I'm going through it, I'll make a thingy of it as I'm going through it. And depending on how it comes out, I might put it on YouTube. I might not. Dep I'm always a bit hesitant to start with until I get about halfway or three quarters of the way through, and then I become quite confident. And then I feel as if I want to put it on, and then when I put it on YouTube, I wish I hadn't. I hadn't. <laughs> then we'll stop. Well, <coughs> stage two coming up. Um, I always feel as though I've bitten off more than that and chew. Um, I aren't getting what the girls get, I'm pretty sure about that. Um, I have tried. And I'm dashing all over the place. I, see, I, I can't seem to stay in one spot. You're supposed to stay in one spot and work from there, but I haven't. I've been all over the place. Um, I've got no idea what this will turn out like. It feels a bit raggedy, more raggedy than the others were. Because I'm doing two, ob there's two objects, I'm thinking about two objects instead of one. I should be just thinking about one object at a time. And uh, I spent a long time on the eye. I don't, uh, and I'm working from that picture there and I've got a picture there which I keep blowing up to, to have a look at. I, I tend not to look at that one much. I, 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 watch, I look at that one more uh, than that one. <clears throat> but uh, anyway, um, that's what I've done so far. So, um, long way to go yet. Hours and hours and hours. But you're supposed to enjoy it, but I don't feel as though I'm enjoying it at the moment. It's not. It's not something I'm really enjoying. Um, I don't feel happy till I've finished, <laughs> and even then I'm not really, really satisfied because I'm not. I haven't finished one of these last paintings. I've, I've got two down there. I haven't. Even, I haven't even finished them yet. They're not finished. I'm doing another one. <sighs> not satisfactory. I'm not getting what I want. Maybe I'm trying to copy the girls too hard. I don't know. Maybe I should just do my own style. This is why a lot of us fail, I think, because we try and copy somebody else. You shouldn't. You should do your own the way you do it, how you do it, how you want to, how you feel about what you what you're doing. Anyway, I'm not sure. I don't know. I'm an idiot. Anyway, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'll stop there. Anyway. 
Well, this is stage three of uh, the Tiger and the Cub, and uh, I've got a hell of a long way to go. And this is my hesitant part now. This is a one third part where I sort of lose heart, and then hopefully I'll pick up later. So I'm just applying the colour now. Um, I did see one of the girls put dark colour down first and then light colour on top. But these being translucent I thought I'd better work the other way and put the light colours down first. Yellows and oranges and greys and blues, light blues. And then the darker oranges on top. And the browns. But to... Uh, I seem to tell you one thing and then do another thing. I I'm not quite sure what to do now. Anyway, that's as far as I've got. So it's took me ages to get this far, and I'm still that really positive about what I'm doing. But uh, it's kept me busy. It's kept me off the streets. It's kept me from going robbing banks. <laughs> 74, <laughs> 75 robbing banks. <laughs> hmm. Well, a little bit more um, to add on to the thing. There's nothing much I can say really. I'm just um, I'm just adding colours, uh, three or four colours on. I put a bit of uh, alcohol rub on, um, rubbing alcohol, isopropanol. Um, I don't suppose what type it use you use. I, I, I like it because it evaporates and doesn't leave a doesn't leave any. There's a slight smell, but it doesn't do any. It doesn't affect me any. And uh, it blends blends the colours quite well. I haven't fully blended them, but uh, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do till I actually do it. So I'm just phasing in it. These these um, particular I never thought these would take as much time as they do, but they do take a while. But the results are quite pleasant. Anyway, I shall stop there and uh, add this onto anything. I don't want to go. I don't want to make this one a marathon. So pull back a little bit and there we are. And I'll stop there and add on the rest of it when I do it. This is part five. Um, I've done a little bit more, not much. And I was watching a girl the other day on the um, on the YouTube. Uh, she's got lots of, lots of things out. She's very polished, very prolific. Um, American girl. And she was saying that uh, one out of five or pictures she doesn't really like uh, and the reason I'm taking ages to finish this is because I don't really like what I've done uh, when it takes you ages to finish it's because you, you've got to force yourself to go back and do something if I was doing really well and I felt I was doing really good I would have finished this by now I know I would because I usually go on and go on and go on until I finish but with this I've been I've been at least a week doing this and I haven't I haven't finished I haven't been on it a week, I've been doing an hour here and an hour there and I've just done another hour, I've just had a little go at the ear and uh, a little bit more on the, on the on the cob and a little bit of thing, a little bit of fur there trying to uh, uh, add things and putting a few scratch marks in here and there which doesn't look much but <laughs> they're all additions um, so I'm, I'm only going to do a minute on this, I'm, I'm going to stop then and then show you the next couple of hours I've done probably. Uh, I'm not really pleased with this. Not when you see that the way they, these other girl, the girls do it, they do it in about four hours and they finish. I'm not young or anything but uh, in any case I should still finish. I should, even if it takes me eight hours, I, I, you can do it in a day or two but I've been on this, as I say, for about a week and I still haven't finished. And I haven't, I haven't done, it's getting the light right as well and I find I get a bit tired, I get fed up of it. When it's not going your way, you, it doesn't matter how old or young you are, you're still, you're still a bit peevish, <laughs> you get peevish. <laughs> so, so anyway, I'll stop there and uh, oh, I'll keep going and going. Uh, it'll turn out, but it, it's still not what I want and I got that feeling the feeling that I've got now is what the girl was trying to explain. 
and if you if you don't paint it's hard to understand <laughs> um, and she she put it right on the button I will I will put her name in I, will, I, I won't forget I will give her deference she's very very good and uh, she's very polished and uh, she just puts a lot more work in than I do I don't put any work in at all I just do what I find there was one chap talking about different types of what painters wear and one of them is um, there's, there's three main types but one of them is um, oh, not an advantage painter um, spare, like a spare of the moment you want to do it now and I'm one of them spare of the moments and if it doesn't work it's a failure <laughs> anyway I'll stop there and carry on later on well this is a little uh, terpenoid natural test that I'm doing it's to see if the, the stuff evaporates off the paper and I've just wringed the parts that I've just put on with the paintbrush and uh, I'll show you what it looks like in about an hour and uh, I don't I don't like things that leave a mark this is the latest on me uh, my picture I'm on natural light at the moment. I haven't, uh, haven't got any other lights on. Just from the one window in the room. It's pretty dark. But uh, I've got a long way to go yet, and I'm still not really happy with it. But anyway, I'll stop there and uh, come back in about an hour and check on my terpenoid. And uh, I want to talk about. Uh, when I come back I want to talk about this little pen that I got it's called uh, a Mono Zero uh, yeah, Mono Zero this thing and I had a little bit of trouble with it and I, I'm going to show you what the trouble was that I had with it and uh, that'll be it well <coughs> there's a little bit more um, this is going to take me a really long time this um, I bought that terpenoid and I did say I was going to do a little test and uh, I don't know what test the te how good the test is or what it does but uh, um, that's a terpenoid test and that's an alcohol test and I did that one at 6 o'clock which was about 4 minutes ago and uh, it's dry but if you look at the terpenoid which is the you can see that uh, that one's absolutely dry, the alcohol, but that terpenoid is still there, the marks are still there, even, even the accidental mark. So, and if it never dries, it means that the picture, I put a little bit on there, which is, you can see is very dark. It darkens the picture. Whether it dries out ever, I've got no idea. I don't know. I couldn't tell you, but I, I don't think I like it. Uh, and I'll put alcohol on the base of the arm there, to uh, blend but I think there was some uh, terps in it and you can see it's a little bit a little bit heavy on the colour which I didn't want I wanted my own I wanted my own colours um, it did things I didn't want um, anyway it's this is a mess up anyway so I'm not really bothered about this one um, I will continue and I will, I'm determined to finish it but it's it's nothing I'm I'm really proud of. I'm not. Uh, I didn't get stuck in and do this. Finish this one. Anyway, the other thing I did say I would tell you was about was that this pencil. Uh, I don't know if, if anybody buys these, but it's in Japanese. And when you when they come, they come with. Uh, well, you don't get these. These are separate. And these are the fills, they're rubber, it's a rubber pencil, or a rubber pen, or a mechanical pen with a rubber in it. There's no, there's no pencil in it, it's just, a, it's just a rubber. So you can see that the end there is where the rubber is. And these are the, the things that you get. I got two. They're quite expensive as well, they're not, they're not cheap. So that you can see that the rubber is at the end there, and that the, there's two there. And the piece goes in. And what you do is you press the bottom to make the end come up, like so. 
But if you keep it pressed and push it down, it'll go back down again. Which is something that took me ages to find out. <laughs> so I'm, I'm sure it'll confuse somebody else. So that's if you want it to think. If you want it to come out, you just press the end like that. Uh, I've only got one hand, so I can't show you properly. And if you take it right out, and it won't go back in, what you do is you push the end down, and then push the whole thing in, and then push it down like so. And then just press the end to make it come up again as far as you want. And uh, that's how they work. <laughs> It took me ages to figure out. I'm a bit thick, <laughs> so I thought it might help somebody else anyway. I'm trying to zero in on this. Now that's what it's called. It's called a Tombow. And it's a mono zero elastoma eraser. I'm not quite sure about the eraser, whether it's very good or not. I, I have tried it. I'm not too fussy about it. And I wanted it for... I'm trying to do this with one hand again. Uh, I'll reserve judgment on it anyway. I'll, I'll give you a, a, a thingy on it later on, but it seems to be rubbing that out okay. But it, I'm not quite sure about whether it'll rub out uh, the wax from the pencils, which is what I really wanted. Anyway, that's my terpenoid little test done. Um, baby oil is pretty similar. And uh, anything that never dries, because that's that's that was from 9.30 this morning and it's um it's gone six o'clock now. The alcohol dried in for three or four minutes. Uh, and you can see what you're getting from alcohol. I'm quite happy with alcohol, but it, it evaporates quickly, but I got a big a great big bottle of it, it's quite cheap I suppose. No? Doesn't matter which type you get, 94%, 84%, whatever, as long as it's got the alcohol in it, which makes the wax move. I found it's okay. Um, I think I'll discard this. Uh, I'm not fussy about things that don't dry. Um, so I'll leave that for the minute. And what I'll do is I'll... Uh, I will continue with this. Well, I'm not too happy. I saw what uh, Jasmine and Suzak did and I aren't even close to her. So I, it's, 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 uh, it's, it's not what I want. I'm, it's, I'll mark it down as not a failure, but something I didn't want. It hasn't come out the way I wanted. So I've got a couple of other pictures to do to try, so I'll try them. But I will finish this one up to a point where I get so fed up I won't do it. I can't do any more. Um, anyway, I'll stop there. And I'll add the little bits extra when I finish it, whatever I do. I've been well over a week on this now, and that's as far as I've got. You can finish these off in a day, normally. Part 8 then, because uh, I'm doing them in sort of a couple of minute sections. Uh, I've done a bit more to the body and I've done little bits here and there and fiddled on and I'm trying to get the colours as near as I can to them. Um, it's white that's always bugged me when I've been painting. White. But uh, And I realise it's to do with, oh, painting's all to do with contrasts. Once you get the contrasts right, you're, you're halfway there. Because um, there's, no, there's, no there's no edges in a painting, very few. It's just mixing the colours up. Um, uh, and these are all the colours that I've used <laughs> to get that looks like orange and yellow and black. But if you look at the colours I'm using to get this, which I, I find incredible, really. I mean, yellow, brown, black, pink, powder blue, pale blue, browns, whites, ivory whites, greys, reds, and orange. Um, God knows what else I've used. Um, I'm glad I'm finishing it. I, I, I don't think I'd like to do another one of these. Um, I'd like to do a different shot of it or something, but not, not the same one. I think the thing, I don't like the cub. It's the cub I don't like. That's what's been bugging me all the way through. 
Um, and that's probably why I've left it to last. I wanted to finish the Tiger because that, that was reasonable, but it was the Cub I was sort of disinterested in. Um, I'm a little bit fired up today, so I, I might do a little bit more and finish a bit more on the Cub. The Cub is a little bit more difficult because it's it's to do with lights, lights, and getting the angle around his shape on it and things like that. Um, Anyway, I'll show you that when I've finished it and uh, <sighs> Yeah, that um, that Tom Wall pencil was no good at all for taking off wax, not for me anyway, it's too big an area. And uh, the amount of wax I've put on there, the amount of pencil thing I put on, this is the one that I've been using but I just wish it was a bit thinner. Because um, every time you use it, what I want is a is is a, 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 a flat head. I don't want it rounded, and it rounds up immediately. Virtually when you use it, and anyway, I'm a morning git, so I'm a I'm privileged. I'm 75. I'm allowed to. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'll stop there and uh, add it on to the little bit, and then uh, we'll see what's happening. And uh, I'm just about finishing now. You'll be pleased to know I'd stop moaning, you won't have to hurt from me anymore. <laughs> well, in between uh, painting me tiger and cob, uh, I got a bit fed up with it. And uh, I went on to, I usually flip through Gutenberg when I can get in because it's it's getting chock a block now and it. Uh, Lots of traffic online. You get a message that lots of traffic online <laughs> if you go on and it's packed. Um, but uh, I, I, I only go for the occasional book because I, I found that I've done dozens and dozens of books and I've had to get rid of them, dump them because I haven't got anywhere to put them. <laughs> so, so I've got all the bits of kit and everything. I kept all the equipment and everything now, bits of paper and things like that. Well, it's only full scan. It's only printing paper that I'm using. Um, Oh, copy paper, it's called. I usually get it from Tesco's. And uh, cheap as muck. And uh, it gives me a little bit of break between painting. And uh, this is one I came with. It's a gem because it's, it's about where I come from. I come from uh, East Yorkshire and it, it's called the East Riding of Yorkshire when there were three ridings. Uh, east, West and South. There was no North Riding of Yorkshire. And... Uh, I, I've had it under the press for a couple of days and I, I've tended to leave it. Um, I printed it out and I marked the back and I cut the cut the curves in for where the stitching goes and um, I'll just take the, I use a little saw, a very fine, the finest saw I can just about get. Because um, I don't, I really should prick these out by hand but I can't be bothered, I use, I use the saw because I'm a lazy so and so. But uh, I'll try and undo this by hand, uh, if I can. This is where this usually is. Here. I'll have to put my, my um, thing down for a minute while I start it. There we are. Okay, well, I've got the, uh, the G-clamp off. I use the G-clamp to hold it all together. And uh, the, the thing I've got, to, I use two little boards, and the bit that... The, two separate boards and the, the, the bottom one is just two uh, house planks really <laughs> what are the three quarter house planks rough and uh, four, four eight millimeter coach bolts um, and uh, I just trap the book in in the bottom half because I used to do a lot of book binding at one time and I still love it but I can't I can't get rid of the books <laughs> you just can't get rid of them and uh, I, I haven't got room in this house. It's, it's a reasonable sized house. It's not too small, but I, it's the amount of other things that I do. <laughs> I do everything, soap and everything else. So I must stop. I must. I must be good. The wife is very, uh, very patient with me. We only, we only go for each other's throats once a week. Um, but I'll just move this kit out of the way. I'll move my little things underneath here, and. Uh, I'll get down to what I want to do in a minute. I'll put the things out of the way. 
that's it, that gives me room. And I'll take the book out. And what I'm going to do is um, stitch up the signatures because they're in, they're all in signatures, and I've got them pressed at the moment. And uh, you can see how many I've done with all the cut marks on this on both. I've got it on both sides. Cut on both sides, in fact. It's it's well uh, well overdue for a <laughs> state of that. But it still works for me, and it, it, it is a bit awkward. But I should get some new ones. But uh, just move the book out. I should have I should have used my static camera early. I'll just move that out of the way. And there's a few bits and pieces there. Uh, what you get from uh, everything makes a mess, doesn't it? Everything you do. <laughs> I'll just uh, I'll just push this out of the way. Right. Camera's panning too fast. So I'll take the backs off and uh, and put my other boards to one side because I'll probably need them. What I've done is the book was 370 odd pages, which meant I was going to get into 12 because I do it in 16 point. So it meant that uh, the book would be rather large for my cutter. So uh, I, I've done it in two halves, and this is um, I've done 12 signatures. It's going to be 24 altogether. I've got page 198. So the next one will start on uh, the next chapter at 199, and I've got to work out how to make 16 things from each each one again. Because you start off one to 16, and then 60, 17 to 32, and and then 33 to 48, and so on and so on. Getting 16 signatures at a time. And um, so I've got to work out another little plan for doing the second half of the book. This is only half of the book. So you can see the book would be pretty pretty thick. This is about a half an inch or so. It'll be just over a half an inch by the time it's relaxed and glued up and everything, got the backs on. And so it'll be about three quarters of an inch, I should imagine, with the two ends on and everything and the end papers. And um, it's by Horace Baker Brown. I've never heard of him before. Um, and I can't find anything on him. There's nothing, nothing to find on him. Uh, and usually you can't. If it's if it's from America, you can find all sorts on a person who's written a book. But if it's from Britain, you can't find nothing on the guy who's written a book because there's no information on him except that his name is Horace Baker Brown and uh, he wrote this book in 1912. That's it. That's it. Uh, very poor we are on information. And uh, it, it's not joined together yet, but. Um, it's got all the things that were found in the history of the earliest history of of where I was born um, in Hull. Uh, it tells you about the ancient Britons and the Romans invading and how the East East Riding was made. And it's it's quite an interesting book. It's um, it, it, it's sort of a history history in the making. In the making, it's been made for years, of course, but it's the first time I've ever seen it. And uh, there aren't all that many books on the East Ride in New Yorkshire and uh, I got this one down from Gutenberg so I'm very pleased with it and what I'm going to do I'm going to stitch it up and then um, yeah I'll just stitch it all together and then uh, put it in its little get ready for stitching part and uh, when I've stitched it probably I'll feel like going back to finishing off my painting again I'll I don't know what to... I had a little uh, message from some somebody who wanted to know how I'd, how I'd done it. Uh, the drawing and everything. So I was quite chuffed. So that, that woke my spirits up a little bit. Um, I don't get many. And uh, he was seemed quite interested. So uh, I, don't know. I responded and replied to him. I hope he's happy with the reply. But anyway, I'll get on with this and I'll... I'll get my little, my little board and my little bits and pieces which I keep to one side and uh, 
I've got stuff all over the place and uh, I'll show you what I've done with it. I'll stop there anyway. Well this is the final part of this I think, it's the end of it now. Uh, I, I think I've had enough of this. <laughs> I, I think I've blown it. I took it off the board and uh, I finished the uh, story of the East Round of Yorkshire. Well I haven't finished it. I've made one into a book block which is there, it's stitched and sewn and it's glued. Stitched, sewn and glued. <laughs> it's hard to say without any teeth. And uh, as I said, I've cut it into two halves. It was one, just one book. But to this part I've got to, I've got to do yet. Yeah, I've got to put into my little box of tricks and cut it and sew this one up and glue it. And then I'll put it back on and uh, I might show you in one of the other what I've done with them when I, I, I when I've uh, completed me other bits and pieces. And this is the new one I'm going to start on. This is a I'm going to put it onto that uh, that board. And uh, I rather fancied that one. I couldn't wait to get on with this one. I got that's probably why I got fed up with that one. I, I was fed up with it anyway. <laughs> anyway, I'll stop there and call this a blank. And uh, one of my failures. I'll probably put it on YouTube just to show you how, how, how bad you can get, how fed up you can get with a picture. Anyway, I'll stop there and uh, wish you all the best.